Back with Bobby and JJ Radio, we have Miss Lori Haglund. She uh, is going to talk to us about the health cell. First of all, I want to say thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. So let's talk about what is the health cell. The health cell is a professional networking organization that um, we are now in our fifth year in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. uh, it was founded by um, three women uh, to bring together anyone who works or related to the healthcare industry. So mm -hmm. that would include um, everything from healthcare delivery, military medicine, uh, our academic centers that are doing studies, um, research, bioscience, mm -hmm. uh, physicians, hospitals, you name it. So it's a very broad industry in San Antonio, as you know. Sure. Um, employing, it's about one in six people, and uh, it's about a $37 billion industry in San Antonio. Isn't that it? Wow. So there's no other kind of organization like this around? There really isn't. Um, the three founders um, used to be part of a, uh, there was a national um, professional business women's association here, and they were involved with that. But they wanted to create a organization that really looked like San Antonio. Mm -hmm. So men and women, military medicine, uh, the, the research sector in San Antonio, and um, and they put together, there was about a 21-member advisory board um, that they met with to talk about the concept and helped sort of uh, fledge this organization, and we've been going strong ever since. So uh, what you say it's a group of people that get together in the medical industry. What do they get together for? Um, it's really to learn and to, um, we, we put on programs. Mm -hmm. And so there's three type of programs that we promote. Um, there's a monthly program, mm -hmm. uh, usually around a luncheon. Um, we will have a variety of speakers, and if anyone wants to go to our website, they can even look at all the last events and mm -hmm. see who our speakers have been. Uh, we also do a once-a-year State of the Industry event, which we just had uh, downtown at the Westin in February, mm -hmm. and that event attracts about 400 people. Wow. We um, actually um, solicit for presenters at that particular event, five stories from San Antonio of something great that happened in 2016. Uh, we had a cardiologist speak. We had two scientists from Texas Biomedical Research mm -hmm. Institute were selected to speak. Uh, we had. Um, Did you guys invite Bobby? Or no? <laughs> he wasn't on the doctor? No, you guys were. You didn't need surgeons? <laughs> <laughs> We did have a surgeon <laughs> up there. Oh, there uh, and then we had a serial entrepreneur uh -huh. also um, who developed a medical device that's, um, he's working with the military and okay. collaborating with the military to try to bring a device to help save uh -huh. lives. Uh, not only there, but in the, the commercial sector as well. So what other events do you have coming up? Uh, in March, so every month you look for a, an event. Uh, we will have an event on March 8th, Wednesday, mm -hmm. um, 11.45 a.m. at this one will be held at Oak Hills Country Club, and uh, we're going to feature uh, Dr. Janine Cody. And Dr. Janine Cody is a PhD. She has um, been conducting research at the University of Texas, or mm -hmm. UT Health now, University of Texas Health Science Center, on uh, chromosomal abnormalities, um, which is a rare disease. And she's going to talk about her personal experience of uh, being a mother who had a daughter uh, born with a chromosomal abnormality. Mm -hmm. Uh, she's going to talk about some of the challenges of researching and studying those yeah. uh, diseases. And um, it's going to be a great event. So w we encourage anybody to come out. Um, it's an opportunity to learn to so meet they don't, people. So they don't have to be in the medical field? No, not at all. Not but at I don't all. think they're going to invite you, man. Just give it up. I, if, I <laughs> wear scrubs, if I wear scrubs, can I fit in? Well, you're going to look like <laughs> you an x-ray tech that. if you do that. So <laughs> no one's going to believe anything. Come as you are. Yeah. So... Uh, Walk us through becoming a member. So uh, we are a membership organization. We're a not-for-profit 501c6. Uh, um, we used to charge membership dues, but we decided really um, we wanted people to show up because that's really what our organization is about. It's about being present, uh, being willing to share yourself, mm -hmm. learn from others, a true you know networking organization, again, built around sort of the healthcare sector. Um, and so one becomes a member, which allows you to vote once a year when we have our annual meeting, by just attending four events in a year, That's in a rolling 12 months. Well, how many members do we have? Oh, golly. Um, 
we're probably up to close to 100. Awesome. Uh, but we get about 100 people, 70 to 100 people per month at our monthly events, mm -hmm. and then about 400 at our annual State of the Industry. And I'll ask for Bobby, how do you become a presenter at one of these things? Really, you, uh, I would just encourage people to email us if you're interested. Mm -hmm. um, you can certainly talk to one of our board members, but um, you can go to our website and submit your information there at info at the mm -hmm. um, And also just sign up to be a member, and that way you'll get all of our email um, communications every month about our monthly events so you can decide if you want to attend. So it's info at the health cell dot org. Yes. For more information, go to that website to uh, attend one of these events. Just look on the website for the next one. It seems like they're every single month, no matter what. And uh, I'm sure that you'll see Bobby speaking here pretty soon about nothing that will stem cell. Stem cells, yeah, because that's his expertise. We're going to take a quick break, <laughs> talk to our show partners. Uh, you can find us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and be a fan of our show at bobbyandjjradio.com.